John Mattis here with another investigative guy update. Bye now. Camera okay. shut off. Call 911, Marlene. Ooh, not so polite. Now, okay. get out. Well, that's what happens when you ask too many questions about the loan modification business. It preys on Americans facing foreclosure. We couldn't make our mortgage payments. Then you should seriously consider a loan modification. Nine months ago, we exposed one firm taking in consumers all over the country. The firm was called Safe House 911, but it also went by a number of different names. These people are at the bottom of the barrel, you know, that little goo, that gooey stuff? That's what they are. We found websites full of complaints about the operation. They will tell you anything to get you to give them your money. The Better Business Bureau gave the company an F, and the state ordered Safe House closed. And the so called professionals scurried away when we showed up. They shut their offices down, but we found that the owner has resurfaced at yet another operation just down the road. Attention homeowners, are you having difficulty making your mortgage payments? We couldn't make our mortgage payments. Then you should seriously consider a loan modification. New offices, sure, but again, websites full of reports of money taken, no services performed, and no refunds given. It's a rip-off and a scam. And when we asked Dean Chandler, president of First American, about some of his employees and their criminal backgrounds, yeah, why the is that the only thing money? you're interested in? Boy, did he get defensive. And what about Gary's record? What about Gary's record? <laughs> well, his record, uh, his record with the law. What is it? What is it? Convicted drugs. We weren't the only people asking questions. Last week, they got raided by the FBI. Now, the files are gone, office is empty. You know, the last time I was here, I kept thinking of a song that was going through my head. What was it? Then? And then the One raid won't shut down this industry, so number one, always check with the Better Business Bureau. Two, if they're a new entity with no history, run away. And three, remember, never pay an advance fee. Now, if you've been scammed or schemed, get in touch with investigativeguy.com, because I got your back.